Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. And uh, I'm currently a PND driver for a company called Estes Express. And uh, yeah, according to the title and the thumbnail, we uh, have some changes coming up. And uh, what I want to what I want to mention as I get this vlog started, number one, I'm going to be taking you with me to four different locations. I think a few of them you've never been to before. Uh, two of them I know I've never been to before, so we're gonna we're gonna learn those together. Um, and then you know, secondly, I wanna my first one's not very far from here, but my I wanna just say thank you to everybody who's been a part of the channel the last two years. Uh, I started making videos for Estes about two years ago uh, when I got into PND, and you know, none of these videos are possible um, without my terminal manager and I want to give a shout out to him his name is John he hired me you know here I am a new uh, a new CDL holder only you know have a year experience and you know he took me on and he said Chuck you know I don't have any hazmat so we're, we're good but I always still kind of stop he said Chuck you know um, you know I just got you know, I think I got a good feeling about you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hire you. And uh, it's been one of the, um, be, you know, one of the greatest decisions I've ever made in coming here and accepting his offer. Uh, because Estes has been very good to me. They've been very good to my family. They've um, given me a lot of areas to grow in as a as a truck driver. Uh, Help me you know just do the different things I've always wanted to do if I want to be in line hall he would help me get into line hall if I wanted to come back to the city he would help me come back to the city and you know I just want to publicly thank him for that so thank you John for that I also want to thank uh, you know his bosses uh, all the way up the line into safety and human resources and all that great stuff because you don't have a channel that has over 30,000 subscribers and has 130 plus videos and has you know millions of views on on, on all those videos without the backing of a company you know Estes very well could have said you know hey we, we're not gonna let you do that you know we don't want you filming while you're driving we don't want you you know uh, showing people what we do but Estes has you know they've they've been very uh, yes there's guidelines I have to follow and uh, you know there's certain things I can't do I can't say but they've been very um, supportive I guess is the best word of allowing me to show you what it's like to be a PND driver what it's like to be a line haul driver and for that I'll always be grateful and I know many of you will as well because there's so many drivers that have come to Estes because of these vlogs and you know maybe you wouldn't have known anything about getting into LTL without these and so you know it's benefited them but at the same time you know um, it's it's allowed me to kind of pull back the veil and allow people to see what what LTL is all about and you know I want to give SS a huge thank you for that and I hope I've been uh, someone who has been um, very mindful of what the the opportunity they've given me and I've uh, given them justice and 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 how I've portrayed their company because I think they're a very good company in my experience may not be like everyone else's or your experience or any anyone who's ever driven here that doesn't drive here anymore but uh, I do want to thank them so much for that so we are at our this is probably gonna be a longer video because again this is my last PND video so let's uh let's get in here and get this we got one pallet here we've got 11 stops I don't know if Chris is even gonna be here yet it's the guy who does the receiving here but if not it's only one I can get someone to sign for it and while I'm shooting you guys have been a part of the channel let me know as soon as you see me using something that I haven't used in the past comment down below because there's gonna be something that you're gonna be able to win and I'll tell you about it here in a minute
What do you think about this? It looks kind of up, but I'm gonna no, it, <laughs> <laughs> it made it on the pallet, you know, yeah, how, however that's possible. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Didn't go up high enough. Come on, girl. That's on there. See, let's see where it came from. It came from, uh... Vibrance Color Solutions, Ohio. Ohio. That'll be on that other page over. All it, all it does is get a little bit easier. You never forget, but it gets a little easier every time. Uh, time, well, like they always say, time does heal. It does. You know, but it still hurts. <laughs> Good day, Chris. Good day, right. Now this place here, they do paint. They actually make paint here. And a lot of the products we bring them, uh, bring a lot of hazmat stuff over here. Don't have, I didn't have any today, as you can see. <laughs> that pallet's seen its better days, but. Uh, so yeah, that's it. We are headed to the next one. I'm gonna bring you along again for uh, some stops and then I will talk about what's up with me uh later on in the video so make sure you stick around uh, now i mentioned earlier that uh if you notice throughout this video that i'm using something that i haven't used in the past if you drop a comment below what it is uh, then i'm going to put everybody who puts the right answer i'm going to use a random drawer uh that i've got from online and uh, we're going to I'm gonna basically give this hat away. So this team safety hat you guys see right down here. I have people ask me all the time, Chuck, you know, I wish I could get one of those hats. Well, I can't even buy those hats. I have to be given those hats uh, through safety, uh, my terminal manager. So uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna give that away, send it to someone, you know, I'll give them the opportunity if they want me to uh, sign it, I will. Uh, but we're gonna get that out to someone this month before Christmas. I'll probably give it about a week of people putting comments down. Give everybody plenty of time to watch the vlog. And maybe in the future, uh, if my terminal manager, John, who does follow the channel, he happens to have any extra hats that he might want to donate to the channel, then uh, <laughs> we'll have some uh, future drawings on, on some of those. Uh, but we're here at my next facility. This place right here I come to all the time, so this is no no new one uh, but what I've got today I can give them to I can give it to them right off the back because of uh, you know the nice tool that I have that we're gonna talk about later on so typically at this place they, they get really heavy stuff uh, it's like concrete pins and all usually we have to use their dock back there but not today <sighs> Got three. Hoping to save him some time, but that didn't work today. Uh,
back. You gonna go back? Right there. We got them delivered. We're headed to the next one, so I'll see you guys when we get up. The next place I'm going to is it's the building that's on the other side of all of this, but their entrance is, I'm assuming, on the other side because there's a sign out here uh, that says to use 70, I believe 73rd Street. 75th Street, I guess. Well, 73rd, I believe it is. Uh, drive by it all the time, but I've never delivered there. So, we're going to get in there and see what the procedure is. Uh, when it comes to the hat, I will comment, whoever wins it, I will comment back to you on YouTube. So it will have my little icon. And then I'll have you, uh, I'll tell you to email me your information and we'll get it mailed out to you. Alright, this is it right here. This looks like steel place. See right there is the exit. It says all trucks use 75th Street. 75th Street's right down here. So I'm assuming you come in the back somewhere and, you know, when you get first started doing LTL, can I ima imagine every stop you're going to, you go there and you go, okay, what's your pile, what's your procedure? How do, how do you guys get your deliveries? But I promise you this, once you go somewhere once, you may not remember, you may not remember how to get back to it. But you'll remember their procedure when you see the place. Uh, and that's how you can, you know, as you go to more and more places and you learn where they're at and you're not having to use GPS and all those, those great things, uh, then it's amazing how quickly you can, you can run through a trailer doing deliveries. So, like it's right, I think it's right in here, this gate. From Google Maps is showing me that there should be a gate on this dead end street right here. And hopefully it's open. Okay. They got a gate though. But that's alright, they got a call box. No public access. Make sure there's no sign saying no recording because I'll have to ask them that. The flatbedders are in here, Melton. Melton does a lot of business. They're actually located right here in Tulsa, is where their corporate office is. Uh, between this, I'm assuming this stop, and also Ameristar, they do a lot of business over here. All right. So, I don't know if they're going to want me to back into this place or. I'll go in here and ask them. Wow, that's interesting. I wonder if they have a... Uh... Yeah, so when you come into places like this and there's no one here, then you gotta try to find somebody. And you gotta be...
I bet I bet you they're gonna have me back up to that door. Let me go try to find somebody. Oh, those are holders. Hold steel plates. I appreciate your help, sir. No problem, Enjoy man. your Monday. You Thank you. All right, we've got that delivered. Surely we go back out the same gate. See if we get a sensor or something on that opener. There we go. So in some cases, you'll get to places and you just don't know. You got to go in and start asking. If there's not anybody in there, you just uh, start walking around until you find somebody. And I actually found that gentleman there. So not bad. Stop took about 12 minutes or so. Uh, but now we know. Now you know if you ever come here, that's the procedure is uh, just back up to that door and they'll come out and grab it and go on down your road. Uh, so guys, I will see you uh, at an upcoming, uh, upcoming stop. What I can is I came right here is where we're going in the same building we just came from. So I came over here and I delivered their stuff. I had them take their pallets off and then put them back on. So now they're like right on the tail. So these guys will be able to, should be able to take it off pretty simple. We'll just have to back in off the street. Cause they got telephone poles. I can't really go up over that curb. I guess I could, but I'm not going to. Four ways on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna come back. You can see how all their trucks have backed in right over that red lining there on that curb. So right there. Nobody's coming. Usually there's trucks parked right here and you can't do this. So this last one, we may have to, I've got a red strap that's got a hook on it, so we may have to pull it to the back. Uh, no, I'm here to drop three pallets off. put this strap on here so this wouldn't slide forward.
that last one. I might have to use this strap right here to, we'll have to see. Because I don't think this one is going to go underneath there either. Oh, I guess I have a day. This one did. Sweet. Turn it off. Yeah, that's definitely. And you know, one one thing I've noticed, I've got this uh, pallet jack kind of puck or whatever you want to call it, uh, but this thing does not move in the trailer at all. So, what you know, this was a part of our this past year. We had a uh, employee survey, and one of the things that like a lot of P and D drivers mentioned was, "Man, can we get some electric pallet jacks?" And uh, so. Here you have it. If you don't have me at your terminal, ask your terminal manager we need some. <laughs> this thing will definitely uh, give you some extra years in doing this job. Right there. Thanks, sir. Thank Have a good day. Well, guys, that was it. That was the last delivery that will ever be done on a PND vlog shot by me. Now, you may say, Chuck, are you leaving Estes? What's going on? Well, if you follow the channel, you know that um, I'm going to be headed back to the line hall division of Estes, and I, I still am. Um, that will begin, my last day in the city is going to actually be on the 12th of January, and then I will be headed out uh, doing line hall uh, on the extra board beginning the 17th, which is that following Tuesday. I will be a Tuesday start. So all of my uh, LTL guys out there that run line hall, uh, hey, if you want to chat with me every now and then or something like that, definitely send my emails down in the description. Uh, send me uh, send me what, what your start date is or send me your phone number. We can swap information because uh, I, I talk to drivers from... Um, all kinds of different companies, not just here at Estes. Uh, AAA Cooper, actually, I talked with a gentleman that works there, Asaya, uh, a gentleman uh, from uh, RNL, and then, of course, a lot of uh, Estes drivers. So I'm looking forward, very excited to get back out there. Be, we'll be bringing you with me as we go throughout this country, going from terminal to terminal. And, you know, if you've never really been around for those type of vlogs and you've only known me as a PND driver, I think you'll. Uh, I think you'll enjoy these because we're going to be all over the city. You're going to see a lot of different terminals, uh, terminals that are different, terminals that do things differently, but yet you see the big E everywhere. Um, so, yes, I want to uh, invite you to, if you haven't subscribed, definitely do so. Uh, definitely make sure you drop a comment down below that uh, the new pallet jack and one of you guys could be winning that hat right there. I'll get it shipped off to you. Um, but I've enjoyed my time. Will I ever come back to the city? No. And uh, the reason I can is because now I have uh, newer line haul drivers that are now, you know, right there with me or just below me on the seniority. Um, and line haul is all about seniority. So this is my last stint here in the city. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed uh, the camaraderie with all my fellow drivers. I've enjoyed, um, you know, just, uh, I, I really do enjoy P&D, but man, Line Hall is definitely where it's at uh, for me long term working here at Estes. And um, 
But guys, I uh, won't see you again. I won't put out another video until I'm back on line haul. So it's going to be a month or so uh, before we shoot another vlog and get it punted up. So make sure you have the bell notification turned on because you'll want to follow me as, as we get about that. Now, you guys know, I don't know what truck I will be driving. Uh, you know my 77236 that I had dialed in. Uh, great truck, ran smooth. Um, took my time getting it dialed in, but that's been assigned to a different driver now, uh, so I won't have that. There is a very slight possibility that we may be getting a brand new Freightliner, uh, so it looks a lot like what you, the picture that you're seeing right now, and if that's the case, man, what a nice truck to have for the channel, uh, a nice way to promote Estes, uh, and that's for me, that's why I put these videos out. I put them out not only to promote Estes, because I think they're a great company, but I put it out there for all y'all new drivers, or maybe you're old drivers, and you've been out here for 20, 25 years, or 20 years, or 15, or 5, or whatever it is, and you don't know anything about LTL. Uh, it's a way for you to have a good work balance with home, li home time and home life, and it's um, a lot of opportunities, pays really, really well. And uh, that's why I've created this channel and created these videos is for you to be able to see what this is all about and see if it's a right fit for you. Um, so no matter what truck I get, we're gonna we'll dial it in. You know I will. No matter what, <laughs> what it may look like when I get it, hopefully we can slowly get her dialed in. Uh, but guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this: life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. Peace. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead Cause I